Hola and welcome to episode 18 of Paul Plays in Portugal with Porto Menense and we're taking on Porto today. Lots of alliterative P's, I love it. And as you can see, I've got a shirt and tie on. I've not gone for the whole suit because, you know, it's hot in Portugal. I think you can let me off for that, surely. I hope so. Uh, even if it really is January in England and it's quite chilly. Uh, I do actually have pyjama trousers on as well. You know, look at that. Lovely. Um, so, if we lose, that's probably the reason why. Now, for those of you that don't know, this is a cup final. It's a Tassa de Portugal final. Whew, I'm excited. Even though the last episode was disappointing. But just, just going back to the fact that we only managed to finish third in the end. It still was a marvellous season. Considering everything that was thrown at me. The board forcibly sold Paulinho and Jadson in January. So I lost two really important players. And despite that, we still managed to put up a really good fight. We were top of the table for a few times this season. On the whole, I guess we finished where we were for the majority of the season in third place. But, oh, it was cruel. It was cruel. That last gasp equaliser from Moria Renzi who finished down in 10th in the end. That was the, that was the killer blow in the end. It didn't really matter that we lost 2-0 against Benfica. It was that result that punished us and uh, it was harsh but third place means we're playing in the Europa League next year and we have the chance of winning a cup and stopping Porto from winning a trophy this year I don't think they've won a trophy I'm just gonna go down and have a look yeah Benfica won the Tassa de Liga beating Sporting in the final it has been a remarkable season and whatever happens today I'm proud of the guys I hope you're proud of them as well They've put in a real good shift this season. And this is the team, the famous 11, that will be taking on Porto in this final. Uh, Pessoa playing his last ever game of football. Well, competitive football. He might go and play Sunday League or play with his friends or play with his children or something. But yes, he is retiring at the end of the season, along with our backup goalkeeper, Chiarini. They're both retiring in the summer. There's a few players that will be leaving on freeze as well that I'm letting just go because their contract's up and I don't think they're good enough. So there's going to be a lot of change in the summer, despite the fact that obviously this team has put up an incredible fight this season to finish third in the Portuguese Premier League. And of course, players on loan, Gribbin, Lopez, Avalos, Vinegar. What's going to happen to them? Will I be able to sign any of them? We'll find out. You'll find out in episode 19, I suppose. But let's concentrate on the cup final today. Ferreira's playing goal. We've got Pessoa, Marcos Vinicius, our Brazilian. Possignolo playing alongside him with Kakubra at left back. Marcel playing defensive midfield. Bruno Lamas in central midfield. Wellington, Gribbin, Bruno Tabata and Lopez. We have a lot of Brazilians. Vinicius, Possignolo, Marcel, Lamas, Wellington, Bruno Tabata. That's six Brazilians in the starting lineup. Two Portuguese players. We've got Kakubra, who's from Uganda, I think. We've got Gribbin, who's from England, and Lopez, who's from Argentina. Nakajima's just about back and ready to be on the bench. Um, he's actually not returning to full training for five days, but we have to risk him. It's the last day of the season. He's on the bench just in case Bruno Tabata doesn't put in a good performance today, or Gribbin even, or Wellington. Whoever, he can come on and save the day. The time has come for Porto Manense to make history then against a mighty Porto team. Champions of, well, they're not champions of Portugal anymore because sporting are a really good season from them. We have managed to beat them twice on this save and we've only lost once. And remember, we're unbeaten against them this season. We've beat them twice in the league. We've drawn 0-0 in the Tassa da Liga group stage as well. It has been a phenomenal season. We deserve a trophy. We really do. I think we do. I hope you do as well. I'm... I'm they do. The, the players deserve it. The fans deserve it. You deserve it. I deserve it. But Abubakar stands in our way. Sarah's plays in, stands in our way. Brahimi. They've got some quality players. Possibly not as good as last season. Well, not definitely not as good as last season because they finished second this year. Only one point behind Sports. You know, even with a weaker team, they almost won the league. Let's go for that. Oh, that's worked. That has worked wonders. Let's just get in Porto's faces. Let's attack from the start. Let's show them why we deserved to win the league. And it was the game screwing us over. Was it the game screwing us over? Was it me? I, th I think it was a mixture, to be honest. And out they come. Look at that dugout. It looks so old-fashioned. It's like a National League-level dugout. Look at that stadium in Lisbon. Lisboa. Glorious. But they've still got picnic benches in the corner for some reason. 
And we have started this match with possession inside the first 15 seconds. Long ball over from Lamas. That's been poised. Not been as good lately. Maybe I need to upgrade him in the summer. Let me know in the comment section below what you think I need to do next year to improve the team and go for another title challenge because there's a lot of players on loan that we are going to lose, which is a bit of a shame. Unless we can sign them. If I could sign Lopez, that'd be wonderful. And here he is. Lopez is through. Lopez to open the scoring. No. No. <laughs> the game. You're starting to hate me, I think. So close to a, a league title. Are we going to be close but not close enough in the cup as well? Porto want revenge for the last few results as well. Here goes Brahimi. Quality player, but he's fired that well wide. Let's just encourage the guys. We're holding our nerve at the moment. Although Vinicius and Posignolo are looking nervous, which is not what you want from a centre-back partnership. And here come Porto. Ricardo crossing in. Pessoa heads it away. The old man gets his head to it. And now Oliver running backwards. We're putting pressure on here. It's a long ball. Oh no, here's Suarez crossing it. Oh, easy. Easy save for Ferreira. Not many of our fans have turned up. I thought the whole of Porto Mal would turn up for this final, but unfortunately they haven't. And Abubakar straight away. They've got another opportunity. Marcel does well though, stepping in. Those big Brazilian boots getting in the way. And now Kukuba in to Llamas. Llamas spreading it into Gribbin. And that's a lovely ball through to Wellington with the pace and with the cross that almost goes in. It hit the post. And it's another high highlights galore. Although there's not been many shots, strangely enough. Here's Kukuba. Can't get past his man. He's played it into Llamas. Nice little ball into Gribbin. Callum Gribbin. Marcel. Llamas again. Gribbin. Yeah, Wellington, Wellington opens the scoring. We're 1-0 up in the Taça de Portugal final. This is incredible. Just bask in the glory whilst it lasts, because it might not last the entire game. You'll see I'm matching. Black and white. Porto Manense. You know, oh, why did I skip that? I wanted to see Wellington's finish. He actually finished. It was unbelievable, really. In fact, let's look at it again. Let's look at it. Let's look at the goal again. This is... What a, oh, absolutely brilliant. Kukuba blocked off, passed it in to Llamas, found Gribbing, back Gribbing, Gribbin, Gribbing, grabbing, Gribbin, played it into Wellington, and look at that for a finish from a man that can't finish usually. But are they going to equalise straight away? Oh, no, no, the game hates me. Penalty, no. Well, that was going out of play. There was no need to push Abubaka. Vinicius. He's got a lot to learn as the young Brazilian. Come on, Ferreira. <laughs> that was a delayed dive, wasn't it? He'd already gone in the middle of the net and then he dived. Oh, I've missed it completely. Better, better pretend that I just dived. Look at this. Hits. He does like a sidestep and then dives. Can we retake the lead? Lopez is tackled there and I think they're bullying him there. The defenders are bullying poor old Lopez. He's our top goal scorer. He's been magnificent. That's a long ball over. A boob. Oh, not another. Vinicius, no. What are you doing? What are you doing, Vinicius? Two penalties given away. The game hates me. A boob. Oh, no. It's all going wrong. It's. No. Seriously, two penalties. This is unfair. If the FM gods have any sort of love, if you're an all-loving football manager god, you should be letting us win this. Letting the little minnows beat their parent club. These guys bullying their way around Portugal. Sorry, Porto fans, but, you know, you're just you're stealing all the best talent and oh, giving me no chance. And that's somehow not in the back of the net. Vinicius is having a terrible game on a 5.0. I think I have to take him off. Uh, but the option to bring on is Avalos, our Argentinian loney, who's not really a centre-back, but he can do a job there. Poor old Marcos Vinicius, 18 years old. He's a quality player, but he's given away two penalties that will probably result in us losing this game. And they've had 11 shots to our four at half-time. They're 2-1 up. What do I do? Do I take him off? I feel like I have to, don't I? I'm going to go more expressive in the second half. Uh, he's on a yellow as well, remember. I'm going to throw on Avalos. Let's hope he can do a job there. I'm going to play him as a ball-playing defender. As a stopper. Let's go for that. <laughs> right then. 
Come on. Please. Please. They're just pumping it over the back of the defence. Maybe I should sit deeper or something. It's a free kick which Brahimi steps up to take. It's just a short free kick to Sergio. Can we win it back in counter? Oliver, look, we're, we're pushing them backwards here. But now they're they're still on the ball. It's not really where... Oh, great tackle by Llamas. But it's, we've, it, they're still on the ball. Despite as when Abubakar looking for a hat trick. It's blocked off and that's wide. How on earth did Suarez miss that? Is it Suarez or Suarez or whatever? Pessoa free kick. He scores. He scores in his last ever game with a beautiful free kick. 19 on free kicks. Whoa. 2-2. Two, two. We're back in this. Look at this. Boom. Oh, perfect. Love it. Love it. As you can, can tell, I'm quite hyped for this final. Ah, uh, what do I do now? Do we go standard? Do we just keep going? I think we have to keep going, don't we? It's not really working for Bruno Tabata or Lopez. Maybe I should bring Nakajima on. Maybe towards the end of the game, though. Uh, Kakuba's not playing particularly well at left back. I don't think I need to make any changes yet. Oh, I'm hungry now. I should have eaten something. I've only got some Treble extra strong mints to keep me going through this final. It's a throw in, which Kakuba takes. It's back to myself. Bruno Lamas. Lamas. Lopez. Where's he going? Pessoa. Wellington crosses it in. Lopez tap in. 3 2. What a final. What a brilliant performance from Porto Medensi once again. And the fans are going wild. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> There's three guys that are basically the same. They're just clones of each other. Wellington, look at this. Great cross in. Defence just stood still. Lopez tapped it past the keeper. 3 2. Now we have to go standard, I think. History is it's just around the corner for us. The club's first ever trophy, major trophy, is just around the corner. I'm going to throw on Nakajima. I'm being brave. Playing him as an inside forward. I'm going to get our full backs to defend. In fact, we'll put them on wing back. Both on wing back defend. Ooh, nervous now. Vinicius almost cost us. But perhaps it won't matter. Here's Gribbin playing the corner all the way back to Lopez. Lopez. Still Lopez. Oh, saved. We've only had eight shots to their 18. We've both had two clear-cut chances, but they've had five half chances to our one. But here they come. Where's the defence gone? Kakuba mops that up, though. And we're now going to build from the back. Ferreira punch, pash, boom, boom. Did quite work. Here's Walter. Walter crosses it in, and I thought that was going to loop over Fer Ferreira's head there. That would have been my computer out the window and under a steamroller if that had happened. Oh, what a ball from Ferreira to find Lopez. Look at him go. Lopez. Lopez. Oh, just over the bar. I can't give a shout. I want to shout to my players. Llamas. Has someone gagged me or something on the on the touchline? Is that why I can't shout to them? Llamas. Well, look at us go. We're still going. We're 3-2 up against Porto. And we're still pushing forwards, looking for a fourth goal. Avalos does well. Lopez picks it up. Here he goes. Into the box. Crosses it in. Wellington makes it 4-4-2. Four. Four, Wow! We're going to win the cup. It makes up for losing the league, just about. If we can hang on to this anyway. Here's Lopez. Look at this. is a fantastic cross. You can't get any better than that. Ten minutes to go. I've still got a substitute to make. Lopez finds Wellington. We're just completely pummeling Porto. Gribbin. Oh, we couldn't quite find Lopez. That was so close. But we're still going forwards. That's the way we play. Walter plays it into Bubik. He's got on a hat-trick, but remember they were two penalties. Here's Walter. Can we get it clear? Oh no. Offside, offside. See, they've had to rely on penalties. Their two click-up chances have been penalties, in fact. Oh, just go to the end of the match. Ferreira smashes it up the pitch. Willington can't quite win that, but Marcel does. Lamas finds Gribbin. Gribbin. Lamas. Just, ah, this is lovely. We're just keeping hold of the ball. We're keeping our cool heads here. Wellington! Oh! oh Nakajima! Five! Five, two! This is unbelievable. Do not adjust your... Your head, your your TV, or, or computer, or smartphone, or tablet, because this is actually happening. 
Wellington almost scored one of the best goals ever. And then Nakajima just pokes it home. Wow. This is amazing. I'm loving it. Uh, we're going to make one more sub. I almost broke my toe, by the way. I just don't really know what I was doing with my feet. But anyway, they're, they're still intact. One more substitute. I'm going to take off Llamas and throw on Pedro Sar as a ball-winning midfielder. We are the Tassa de Portugal champions. In style, I must add. We have been the best team, clearly. I mean, statistically, we haven't been the best team. But looking at the highlights, we have clearly been the best team. They scored two goals, but they were both penalties. And stupidly given away penalties by Vinicius. I'm sure he's going to be better the next season. I trust that he's going to turn into a star for us. He's still incredibly young. But wow, what a way to end the season. We can't complete the, the Portuguese double, but we have won the cup in style, beating Porto 5-2. And look at that. Look at all this black and white paper falling onto the pitch. And the fans are going wild. I don't know where I Oh, there I am. Look at me. Clapping away. Oh, I should have put a red... If I had a red jacket, then I could have looked like my manager, but I don't have a red jacket, so I can't do that. <laughs> it's about 15 fans here. It's amazing. Oh, there's a few more up here, but some of them are wearing Porto tops. And they're all doing the same action. I guess that's what happens at football grounds, but they all look the same. It's brilliant. What a way to end the season. That is just special, isn't it? We've beaten our parent club. We should just cut ties with Porto now, in fact. We don't need them anymore. It looks good. Past winners of the competition. Anyway, season review then for the players. Let's have a look at who performed well this season. I think you already know, don't you? But top goal scorer was Lopez. Franco Lopez, 27 goals this season on loan from River Plate. 16 assists as well. Wellington's second top goal scorer, 19 goals. That's very impressive for someone that can't finish. 10 on finishing. Uh, third top goal scorer, Nakajima. Unsung hero, he played very well this year. 13 goals, 12 assists. Bruno Tabata, 10 goals as well. A few from the penalty spot. Callum Gribbin coming in in January. What a signing. Six goals, three assists. Excellent stuff. Assist-wise, Wellington, 27 assists. That's just incredible. Lopez with 16. Nakajima with 12. Average rating, top of the charts. We'd ignore Kalk because he only played three games. But Wellington, 7.59. Alongside Franco Lopez, also getting 7.59. Callum Gribbing, 7.31. Look at all these players. Amazing, amazing ratings. Value-wise, our most expensive player that we own is Wellington. He's gone up to £1.3 million. That has really shot up recently. Superstar Wellington. Uh, have we... Oh, let's have a look at this then. We've lifted the cup. Uh, Vinicius actually got injured, despite giving away two penalties and going off at half-time. I've been praised by the supporters, as you would expect, really. Everyone's happy. Just just everyone's happy. A special shout out though to Pessoa, scoring that equaliser free kick. Unbelievable free kick from the 37-year-old in his last ever appearance in a competitive football match. That is That was just so special. Have all the awards been agreed or decided? Let's have a look. Wellington scoops the top score award in the cup with six goals. He also got the... The most assists in the league, by the way. Portuguese goal of the year was won by Calque. I thought it should be Lopez for that Messi-esque or Maradona goal that he scored. But this apparently was Portuguese goal of the year. So let's have a look at it. Pessoa played it over. Calque picked it up. Thumped it. Good goal. But we see quite a few of those a year, I would say. So... But either way, it's nice to pick up goal of the year. These are the overall best 11 for us now. Where do I go? Best 11. This is the best 11 for this season. Vreira in goal. Pessoa, Jadson, Posignolo. I mean, Jadson, even though he left. Kakuba, Marcel, Lamas, Wellington, Paulinho, Nakajima and Lopez. Is this the overall best 11 ever? Ah, that's why. This season, Gribbin's in there. Jadson's still in there, though, despite leaving in January. End of season's award. Wellington deservedly wins player of the season, I think. Well, it was a toss-up between him and Lopez, to be honest. 36% to 34%. Both of them were phenom phenomenal. Nakajima was third with 22%. We've already seen goal of the season. Signing of the season is Vinicius, despite his poor final. And Franco Lopez, young player of the season. That's the team of the season as well. We've already had a look at that. And uh, squad dynamics, blah, 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 all that jazz. Oh, it's... Uh, it's been special, hasn't it? And thank you for watching this second season 
of Paul Plays in Portugal. Hope you're looking forward to a third season where I'm aiming to win the league. We have to aim to win the league. We were so close this year. It was heartbreaking in the end. But to thrash Porto 5-2 in the final, just it makes up for it because that was an incredible game. What a win. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed today's episode. I'm going to go and have a shower, I think. Until next time, enjoy FM18. Go and celebrate this cup win. I'll see you very soon. Bye.